This is already my second Air VPN review. This video will just give an overview of some important features. You will find a more detailed review on my website shown in the info card. My cable internet provider delivers 500 megabit per second to my PC. While connected to an Air VPN server I still was able to get 140 megabit per second. This may look like a great loss but it is one of the fastest open VPN service provider on the market. A speed test is always a bit tricky because there are a lot of unknown variables which can't be influenced by the VPN provider. A speed test with a download manager could increase my peak speed to 195 megabit per second. Speed is important but latency should not be missed here. I am located in Germany and the latency test was done on a German Air VPN server. The latency loss is moderate and as far as it is still under 50 milliseconds there is no reason to complain about. Air VPN is also known for using up-to-date encryption technology and long enough encryption keys. They also claim that they do not store any connection logs of their users. The Windows software called Eddy was able to protect me against two sorts of IP leaks, the WebRTC leak and the DNS leak. Eddy is one of the most advanced VPN software solutions on the market. It is developed as open source project and also other VPN configuration files from third party providers can be integrated. It makes your VPN very versatile and you can configure it to your needs. Another feature to mention is the geo unblocking capability. Air VPN uses double hop server and as soon as you connect to a website which applies geolocation censorship it will automatically try to get around the blocking. In most cases you do not have to switch the VPN server, Air VPN will just route your traffic via one of this shown double hop servers. On Android you can also use a dedicated Air VPN app. The app is under heady development and with every new version you will find new functions and enhancements. This app can also be used with third-party OpenVPN configuration files. A VPN provider should make sure that you can get around restrictive firewalls if your country is trying to censor the free internet. China, Russia, Turkey and the Iran are such countries. Air VPN offers TLS script to get around this kind of censorship and if this does not help you can still use an SSL tunnel to get around the firewall. I was able to do so in my last China holiday. But let's also talk about the unmotivated support. I never had a major issue with Air VPN but I sent in some bug reports for Eddie. In most cases they have not been taken seriously. But you can still use the Air VPN forum to get help from the community. Not to forget to mention that Air VPN can also be used with Linux and your router. For that purpose, you will find a very useful OpenVPN config generator on the Air VPN website. Do not forget to visit the full article linked in the video description. What are your experiences with Air VPN? Please use the comments.